What's good, peeps? Happy Friday, TGIF. T-Money up in the heezy. Uh, so I've got to kind of make this quick because I have a lot of shit to do tonight. Uh, but I wanted to do a quick little collection update. I have like 10 or so titles um, that I got in. <clears throat> mostly over the last few days, actually. Um, so let's get right into that right now, shall we? Okay, um, let's see. Hope everybody's had a good week, first of all. I've had a long, stressful week, but it's been pretty good for the most part. Um, so, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, okay. Um, the Devil's Nightmare, Mondo Macabro put that out. That's upstairs, I actually lent that to my pops. I got that from Mondo Macabro, as well as one other flick um, yesterday. But I already showed the red case edition. I just grabbed the blue case uh, for to be able to watch. Red case I usually try to do for collective purposes, but um, it's a great uh, little kind of rarely seen, um, sorry, text, uh, movie, The Devil's Nightmare. Uh, yeah, it's good, so I recommend it. Um, I love this castle setting and, and whatnot, it's great. All right, so, um, Mothra. Yes, I know. Everybody's been showing this one off. I'm not the biggest, um, like, Godzilla, I guess, fan. Um, but, that being said, I'm anxious to check this out because I don't know the last time I ever saw Mothra. Um, and it's a really nice addition. Slipcover, steelbook, clear plastic, plastic cover. There's even, like, a, um, like a surface scratcher thing that you know like that you get when you get a new cell phone the label protector you have to peel it off there's even that on top of the plastic case so just a really really nice job and they're so cheap too $13.99 for a beautiful steelbook and that's expensive for Mill Creek so I, I love Mill Creek I, I just think they're great I just think they're really fair um, as far as special features on this release there are some you get Japanese and US versions audio commentary with authors and Japanese sci-fi historians, uh, and an 11, okay, featuring 11 additional minutes as well. So, uh, not many, like, um, interviews and, sub you know, like, extra features and stuff, but you do get an extended cut of the film and commentary, so that's fine. Especially for that price. And then I grabbed Battle Royale. Why? Because, uh, it's Arrow, and this is a steelbook. Um, I do own the really cool um, box edition, window box edition that Arrow did years ago. I have that on Blu-ray as well. Um, but that's kind of a collector's piece. But so is this. I'm not sure if I own just like a regular standard edition, but I'll probably just make this my standard edition. Uh, limited edition steelbook, blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming there's probably a booklet. I don't know. It's a great film, and it's a nice release. All right, then we have the steelbook of Pet Cemetery. I actually really like this movie. I saw it in theaters. I thought it was pretty solid. Uh, with the exception of a few things, like the main girl. I don't know why. She wasn't bad, but she just was very, like, kind of cliche, young, uh, demented type girl role. And, uh, but I really thought it was pretty solid, actually. Oh, and also, I really didn't like um, the Zelda in this movie. The CGI, like, effects on her just they blew that they blew that whole character and the fact that there was no sick cancer woman in this movie uh from the original kind of pissed me off too but i will say that the victor pascal or however you pronounce his name that scene in this movie where he's rushed to the hospital was awesome and intense really caught me off guard one thing i have to say is watching this movie in the theaters was a, a much better experience than watching it on home video because i watched it in theaters and then i watched it the other night um it's just just this so many things you get from the theater that you don't get at home unless you have like a really nice surround sound system like the like the trucks whipping by for example it wasn't nearly as cool watching it at home um but but it was it's still it's a good movie so check it out definitely if you haven't seen it i liked it thought it was a solid remake um all right then i grabbed savage beach i was going to show this off with picasso trigger but i ordered them from two different places and my grindhouse video at Tampa. I, it always takes so long to get packages from him because he's in Florida. It usually takes over a week uh, or about a week, but uh, that's coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, uh, this director, Andy Sidaris, I guess uh, Mill Creek's put out four of his films so far. 
just really cheesy 80s, um, you know, California action movie flicks uh, type. Anyways, cool Savage Beach. Uh, this is a movie I really, really want to check out. I don't know if I've seen this. Dead of Night. It is from 1945. Uh, 4K restoration of the film. A group of strangers are mysteriously gathered at a country estate where each reveals a chilling tale of the supernatural. That's all you need to know about it. Apparently the last short in this is really, really good. That cover artwork is so awesome too. Really dig it. Then we have, um, this is from Mondo Macabro. Uh, European Westerns number one from Dorado Films. All region, Blu-ray, DVD combo pack. Really nice release. Uh, limited to 600, I got number 567. Um, chock full of booklets and stills and everything in between. Uh, just really nice and this sounded pretty awesome. Uh, a western movie from 1966. Um, yeah, it just sounds pretty awesome. So, um, I had read the synopsis yesterday, but yeah, you get an eight, eight, I don't remember, an eight page booklet, 12 page booklet, two mini posters, four page inserts, subtitles, English, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, whatever. Um, why is Clifford in such a rush to take his wife Maria across treacherous country during an Indian uprising? Is it because Bob Carey, her former fiance, has just been released from prison and is now heading their way? Or is it because devastating news from the town doctor about Maria have been given to Clifford? Whatever is the real reason, the trip is rushed, everything's sold, and seven men agreeable to make the journey to Laredo, Laredo are hired on. Only problem, the hired men know that Clifford and Maria have all the money from the sale. And each has his own agenda on who gets the money, including Maria. So, just sounds like a good old um, western thriller type movie, whatever you want to call it. The Seven from Texas, J.R. Merchants. And this director did something else. Um, I don't know. Hundred thousand. Oh, you get a bonus DVD as well. A hundred thousand for Lassiter. The pos okay, cool. So there's two films in this release. Bonus DVD. Okay, sorry. So it's not a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It's a Blu-ray plus a bonus DVD, which appears to be another film um, called A Thousand, A Hundred Thousand for Lassiter. I'm not too sure about that one, but awesome. Can't go wrong with that. Next up, Silent Hill. I love this movie. Actually, I don't... I like it. I think it goes downhill as it progresses personally. I really love the snow theme setting in the beginning and kind of like just when she's lost in the beginning when like and then the you know the bells start ringing and the video game tropes really start to emerge. Um, I like that. I just feel like it kind of dragged on a little bit. It's been a long time since I've seen it but really nice release all the same. Uh, newly commissioned cover artwork. I kind of do wish I got the poster for this one. It's kind of rad but oh well. Uh, disc 1, you get new audio commentary in the feature film. Disc 2, you get a ton of featurettes with uh, directors, uh, inter special effects artists, a tale of two, interview with actresses. So they really went all out on this release. Really, really nice. So hopefully you guys can read that if you want. And um, another one from Scream Factory, Strays. Really excited to check this one out. I love my killer cat flicks. This came in today, uh, 1991. Yeah, uh, I had ordered this in Leopard Man, Leopard Man when they were announced uh, a few months back, obviously. Uh, you get reversible cover artwork as well, which is kind of lame, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, neither really have the best cover artwork, but that's all right. I still really want to check this movie out. They, have, they say cats have nine lives. Uh, Paul and Lindsay by a remote country home, unaware of the mysterious circumstances surrounding the former owner's death. Convinced the house is a perfect place to raise their daughter, the young couple settles in, little suspecting that their dream home is surrounded by an uncontro uncontrollable feral cat population. Killer feral cats. Awesome. Can't wait to check that out. And last but not least, I'm really excited to check this movie out. We have Exposure. Uh, it's a new one from Scream Team releasing, the guys that brought us uh, The Barn and a bunch of other uh, pretty cool movies. Um, uh, that don't come to mind right now, but they're, they're, I like Scream Team. Pretty much everything they put out has been decent. Um, but Exposure, yeah, this sounds really awesome. A uh, couple go out in the woods in a log cabin type thing, and then they unleash this 
unleash this ancient evil and it possesses people and turns them into gruesome, grotesque, deformed creatures or monsters. Uh, it just sounds awesome. So, uh, throwback to like 80s, I think, uh, practical effects, uh, a surprise appearance from Lynn Lowry. Uh, so it's awesome. Really cool. Really excited to check it out. You get a poster with it as well. Sorry if this is feels a little rushed, guys, but it kind of is, so that's cool. If you order directly from Scream Team, you always get a poster. I'm not sure if you order, because Diabolic, Jesse gets some of this stuff in too. Uh, but I'm not sure if he gives you posters, so it's one little perk, I think, of ordering directly to them from them. And I had ordered a shirt, which I got in yesterday, and a hoodie um, from Rotten Cotton, because they use Gildan Tees, and I had talked about Gildan, and how I like them, and I got this in yesterday. Um, I will say that the, the it smelt like really, really, really cheap material. When I opened the bag, it actually stunk up the basement. I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of, uh, I put it outside for a while yesterday. It's kind of good now, but um, as far as the print goes, it's not the highest quality I've seen, but it's not terrible. And if it fits me like I like uh, Gildan Tea to fit, then we're in business. I'm psyched. And I also got a hoodie, a uh, Cannibal Holocaust hoodie, which I obviously didn't, or apparently didn't pay enough attention to because the back is like that, uh, the nude chick on the stick type thing from the film, the uh, promotional cover artwork or whatever it was. So I'll be walking around with a naked chick uh, thrown up on a stick. <laughs> I got to be careful where I go with that hoodie on, but it's cool. It's rad. I like pullover hoodies and Rotten Cotton, I think only has pullover. So that's cool. So, all right. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great weekend. I will probably see you tomorrow because I do have a few cool things that are supposed to be coming in tomorrow including something from, um, I think, um, um, Dark Force Entertainment that I've been waiting for for a couple days, uh, and among other things, as always. So take care. Have a great Friday night. Be safe. Talk to you guys later. Peace.